Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about Dirac's theorem. Dirac's theorem, just like Orr's theorem, provides a sufficient condition for a graph to have Hamiltonian circuit. So basically Dirac's theorem says that a graph with n greater than 3 vertices and every vertex having degree greater than half of the number of the vertices is Hamiltonian. So basically, if a graph have this particular condition, meaning it has the condition having number of vertices greater than 3 and every vertex having degree greater than half of the number of the vertices will be Hamiltonian. That is basically the sufficient condition for a graph to be Hamiltonian according to Dirac's theorem. As I mentioned with Orr's theorem, the existence of this particular condition in a graph will be sufficient enough for it to be Hamiltonian. However, if this condition does not exist, it does not mean the graph will not be Hamiltonian. So let me give you an example on this theorem. Let's say we have a graph like this. As you can see it, we have four vertices. Based on Dirac's theorem, we have more than three vertices. And let's check out the degree of each vertex. So the degree of this one is three, the degree of this one is three, the degree of this vertex is three, and the degree of this vertex is three. Based on Dirac's theorem, if the degree of the vertices is greater than half of the number of the vertices, the number of the vertices here is four, half of four is two. Since every vertex is degree 3 therefore the degree of the vertices is greater than half of the number of the vertices therefore this particular graph should have a Hamiltonian circuit and it does we can start from B or we can start from A and then go to B go to D go to C and then come back to A and where we started so as you can see it this particular graph has the condition of Dirac's theorem therefore it has a Hamiltonian circuit or it is Hamiltonian let me give you another example as you can see in this particular example we have five vertices Vertex A and vertex B have degree 3, vertex E has degree 4, and vertex C and vertex D, both of them have degree 2. Even though the condition of Dirac's theorem does not apply on this particular graph, however, it still has a Hamiltonian circuit. We can start from B, go to D, E, C, A, and then end at B. As you can see, our path is a circuit, and it hits every vertex exactly once and starts and ends at the same vertex. It is a Hamiltonian circuit. Our graph is a Hamiltonian, and the condition of Dirac's theorem is not present. So as I mentioned at the beginning, when these conditions like Orr's theorem or Dirac's theorem is present in a graph, it is sufficient for the graph to be Hamiltonian. However, if the condition is not present, it does not mean the graph is not Hamiltonian, as we can see in this particular example. The same goes for our third example. We have a cycle graph and we have eight vertices. The degree of each vertex is two, even though the degree of each vertex is less than half of the number of the vertices, still the graph is Hamiltonian because we can start at B, go around and then end at B and the graph will have a path that starts and ends at the same vertex and it hits every vertex exactly once. So Dirac's theorem is another theorem that provides a sufficient condition for a graph to be Hamiltonian and basically says that a graph with n greater than three vertices and every vertex having degree greater than half of the number of the vertices is Hamiltonian. However, the absence of this condition will not cause the graph to not be Hamiltonian, but the presence of this condition is sufficient for the graph to be Hamiltonian. And with this, we come to the end of this lecture.